having understood the components on a word it's important for us to go deeper to what word entails now let's start with the layout let's check our instructional material setting up the document layout okay now this is the page layout how do you want the layout to be is it portrait is it landscape see are you seeing it landscape are you seeing it this is um, the portrait okay you use this also to adjust the margins how you want your margins to look like for you to type your work also here the size normally you are supposed to use the a4 for it to be easy for you to print out in your a4 paper okay then what other key features okay there's one thing i want us to understand which is the watermark under the background then um, the watermark is for instance i have a work here this is a work so let me go to the page layout and um, watermark it this we click watermark okay are you saying are you saying confidential here are you saying confidential you can also customize the watermark you can customize it you can customize it customizing it implies that you make it your own so you come on that text instead of confidential you can write daniel daniel document okay then what happens are you saying it daniel's document when you look at it very well just like this Daniel's document okay let me go back to the normal listen for you to understand okay for instance here are you seeing it okay let me scroll down for you to see it confidential then to customize it I use Daniel's document okay either diagonal or horizontal anyhow i want it diagonal is for it to look like this as you're seeing it horizontal we can make it horizontal you will see the effect now are you seeing the effect horizontal like this so let's change it to the diagonal for you to understand okay there are other things you can you know if you want a picture watermark anyhow you want it okay i don't need any watermark i go to no watermark okay it's off okay the page color what if i okay are you seeing it are you seeing it are you seeing it so these are the functions this one is under the background group okay page border do i want to give it a border okay are you saying okay do i if i don't want the border i click no the border is off okay this one is indentation to align it this one is for spacing okay whatever value you put adjust your work then um, we go to 
the home okay the home under the home you have the font the various fonts for instance let me do copy and paste if you don't know how to do copy and paste this is how copy and paste is you double click and drag okay and right click you click on copy okay you come to your document you click and you paste okay you paste this here then I want to you know I want to change the font okay let me highlight it already it's font 12 let me change it to 14 you know as you're changing it it gets bigger and bigger okay do i use this time roman do i use whatever you highlight you click on the it shows so it's, it's not left for you to make use of uh, 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 the one you want depending on the documents you are working on if it is an artistic document you can make use of stylish fonts okay then this is for sentence case if in case for instance this introduction I highlight it how do I highlight click and drag okay it shows yellow uh, blue so if I want the introduction the whole of the introduction to be lowercase I click the lowercase it shows if I want it to be not to be bold I click on this B it goes off there's a short key for it okay so I click on this it goes off or you know I click on it it goes back I click on it uppercase it becomes B okay if I want from this first line to be sentence case sentence case that is um as in capitalize each word if I want to capitalize each word you see the L here is capital the W here is capital the W here is capital the B so on until you get to this point of you know so if I want to underline, I click on underline. If I want to italize it, are you seeing the effect? If I want to cancel, I click on this. Okay. If I want to do this, okay, it becomes smaller. Okay. If I want it to go up, okay. But all these are not necessary for now. They are not necessary for now okay so but it's just important to understand some of this effects or or the use of some of these uh, um, functions or commands in the various groups okay so if on the in the paragraph if i want to align it I want to align it okay if I want to align I write uh, I click and drag okay see what happens if I click this one see what happens if I click this see what happens okay if I just to justify it well okay if I click this what happens okay then the spacing the spacing do I want to give it a double spacing I give it double spacing do I want just a single spacing single spacing so that is that on this line spacing so this one are you seeing okay to color the the text the text okay then to number it has numbered them 
it has numbered the paragraph it has numbered the paragraph so if I want I don't want to number it I click on none then this one is the style this is the normal style okay let's check this are you see let's check this are you see okay let's go back to the normal okay that is that on um, the home tab let's look at the the insert tab let's look at the insert tab the insert tab what do i want to insert what do i want to insert is it table is it table the more i go are you seeing it the more i go the more tables rows and columns are being formed are you seeing it so it it depends on the kind of table you want the number of rows and the number of columns you want okay if you select you cannot type whatever you want you enter the next space uh, the next you know box and you type whatever you want the same thing goes like that on and on and on and on and on okay so this is the arrow which you can use to drag okay you drag anyhow you want to do it okay anywhere you want to place it you just drag okay is used for dragging so let's go back to the insert okay and then uh, if you want to delete it this is the practical aspect this is now the practical aspect yes you delete you highlight and you delete is off so if you want to insert picture if you want to insert picture you click it takes you to your picture you know gallery takes you to the picture gallery okay you choose anything you want uh, which okay let me check this document you choose this okay are you seeing it has inserted so you can now adjust if you want or you go you come here you drag or you anyhow you want it anyhow you want it okay and if you want to put it anywhere just drag it to any place okay you drag it to any place you want it to be hmm? if you want to delete you, you click and delete it's off okay that is that on them um, we've inserted table we inserted picture is still the same thing with inserting shapes whatever shape you want you just drag it comes up okay you can adjust it okay any shape you want again i want this circle i come here i click okay that is that hmm? if i want to delete i click and delete i click and delete it's off okay if i want to insert a chart I want to insert the chart okay a it, it okay 
but basically it's for mathematical purpose so mathematical purpose the insert is for for uh, the the chart is for mathematical purpose so the data is giving me the chart is giving me uh, the ones the computer has already formed but i need to had it been i have a mathematical analysis or statistical analysis ready yes the insert this thing will function well okay so that is that then the header and the footer the header what do i want okay i type a text here i type a text here hi daddy okay then i close if i scroll down i will see it hi daddy okay are you seeing it hi daddy mm. so if i want it to be on the head the same thing hi mommy hi mommy hi mommy okay i click on close it's there I, 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 are you saying it? I want you to practice this. I want you to practice this. Okay. Uh, let's insert insert page page number page number. Do you want the page number to be on top? Do you want it to be on top in this form? Okay. At the right corner at the left corner rather top or top left corner or top middle or top right corner hmm? anyone if we do it now you see okay it's there but because of the uh, high mommy that has been there so it has overrode it it has you know uh, taking that position uh -huh. you know deleting that time on it so let's let's change it for you to understand let's change it for you to understand let's button okay the same thing happens okay it has also removed that of the high daddy but the main thing is is inserted your page number okay so that is that but bear it in mind you can't have page one here and also have page one here in the page it doesn't look you know um, organized so if it's good you just double click on it and uh, you remove it you remove it by deleting it then you click close it's off okay let's look at how to save our work and then uh, how to print our work For instance, you have this work, the Lord, the Lord is good all the time and is more and you are right forever and you are forever amen okay <laughs> this is our work which is tight 
and uh, already we've done the initial we've treated the initial way of uh, saving a word document now this word document it's good for you to save it again so that the application will understand that this is an updated document okay but before then you check what you've typed are they okay before you save now there's a highlight here that indicates that i should check the endurance the spelling i click and drag it highlights then i right click and uh, these are the options that it is showing me but they are not what i want so i just go on clicking ignore so it's off then i can now save i come here i click are you saying something was indicated down if you can see it, something was indicated down that it has been saved or you you use the short key Control s which is to save that is on the keyboard you click you 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 hold the control key and the s key that is control save it saves your document then i want to click on this by click save as it indicates that i want to change the location of the document or i want to convert it either to pdf or other formats okay this one save the file as a word document so is different from this initial save so these other savers these are the options so anything you choose will reflect on your document you understand we affect your document also then if i'm to print i go to the next one which is the print this is the print okay do i preview before printing yes okay, okay. so this is how the preview looks like this is how the preview looks like this is what i have typed and that is how it will look like on my printed hard copy so if i'm okay with it if i want to adjust i can adjust to any size i want but remember i said earlier a4 is okay this is the portrait and the landscape well the portrait is okay for this particular type of document so these are the printing options okay the printing options then um, if I want to print I go on if I don't want to print i close it it takes me back to the distance so if i want to print i just go the print preview then click on print i'm on print now i check my printer number or where it is connected if it is in line with what uh, if the printer connected to the computer is in line with what is being shown here or i can make a selection here with the connection then either i print click on a current page which is this particular page or if the pages are more than one i can click on pages and indicate print one to five click one to five or if I click, if I type click 
print one to five it will print from page one to page five but for now our document is only on page one it has only one page so i'll just click on print on current page if my document are so much and i want it to print everything i click on all so you can separate specific pages with comma for instance you can you want to print page 2 and you want to print page 10 so you type 2 you separate it you put comma you type 10 you separate it if I, if I have page 30 so these three pages are what is going to be printed to 10 and 30 in all the documents these particular ones okay so if i'm done with it if i'm done with it so this is a document so i'm good to click on okay as soon as i click on okay and everything is in line my work is being printed out so that is that on uh, how to save then the savers and the printing of your word document i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorials the next tutorials we are going to embark on is um, on powerpoint please if you have any problem just let me know subscribe on this youtube channel like and share it i remain daniel obey and i hope you continue to do more practice and improve yourself on the microsoft world